need the microphone. I go like this now. It's okay. Call it to Jukhet, man. It's only French. Okay. This is like dangerous if call it. Yes. Okay, ready to go? Ready to run. For me, the most intense uh, and most difficult, maybe, uh, of uh, the, the talks of today. Why? Uh, I have one person who doesn't <laughs> talk. I have to talk uh, with you about him. Uh, I have to talk uh, about him. Okay, we talk just about him. Okay? Just, yeah, we talk just about him. Book so discreet, so good, uh, so strong climber, so generous, everything. Uh. Okay, I think I have to walk away. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> now stay well, a little bit no, more. Stay a little bit. Hans Jorg, I, before to you. Yeah. The man of the fish. Yeah. No. You you know, you, you mind, are you happy that uh, somehow forever you will be the man of the fish? Am I happy about it? I don't know. I can't avoid it anymore. Yeah, no, because of course. It's three years ago, and um, but I didn't choose the fish or this action on the fish, the free solo, uh, because of I didn't think about the media yes. afterwards. I did it just because my head was full of this uh, idea, full of this dream, mm. and I wanted to feel my dream. And yep, and this year my life did little change for sure. Uh, I'm very well, well known in Italy. I'm not that well known in Austria and Germany. So it's a little bit comfortable for me. Mm -hmm. But when I came to Italy, many people know me and yeah. But I, I learned uh, to to go with this situation and it doesn't give me a pressure or something, no. so now I'm relaxed then. But I wanna I wanna ask you, how many days uh, I mean uh, every day, how many times uh, your mind uh, go back to that day, go back to that day? Yep. After a few days after after the fish, I realized what I've done, and now when I'm looking back three years after, um, yeah, for me it's also hard to understand why I I did it. Mm. Uh, but it was it was a special day, and um, it was just the right moment, you know. Uh, yeah, you know it. You, know. you did a lot of that, uh, such things, and you have to do it when the right moment comes, and you can feel it. Mm. So if you don't have the right feeling, you should stop it and. Yeah, but for sure for the other climbers it's hard to explain because it's risky. Yeah, that uh, doesn't be a, it should, it shouldn't be a mistake and yeah. But at one point you, mu you must go. At one point you must go and mm. you are kind of steered, you know. Mm. You can't stop it because when I walk to the to the wall, I, it was easy to return, but yeah. it was impossible to return from. Yeah, mm. you know. It. A question. But also, also Mook, you know. Yes, I know also Mook, but also Mook, he looks at us. He look at, he, I know it's <laughs> also <laughs> this. I I'm asking to you because I know that are could be answers also of Mook. Yeah, and uh, it's always the same, to both yeah. of you, I. But you will answer. Uh, <laughs> would it have? Uh, it has. Uh, <laughs> it has. Uh, uh, sense uh, sport climbing without uh, alpine climbing uh, and uh, does it would uh, have sense uh, alpine climbing uh, without sport climbing you know uh, what I mean yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I think you have to think about the level you would uh, like to climb alpine if you want to climb hard alpine routes it's not possible to do no sport climbing you, know? you have you must have a level a good level in sport climbing to go to the walls because there are so many other factors like uh, the weather, all the organization in the wall, and these factors are mostly more, uh, more the key for the success mm. uh, than the climbing level. You you must have the climbing level anymore. Mm. So, yeah, but it's not possible to climb a, a route if there are no bolts when you can't do the move. Yes, you know? <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah. But sometimes uh, does it have sense? Sport climbing uh, like a sport in itself and nothing more for yeah, you? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now, now I'm doing lots of sport climbing and I like sport climbing uh, a lot. But would not be enough without Alpine? No, no. When, when the summer came, so when the temperature is higher, the weather is good and the mountains are free of the snow, I have to go up. There is something up. This is the, the maybe wall. the magic stuff of yeah. uh, having uh, 
more than one kind of climbing yeah, in, uh, yeah. in uh, yourself, no? Yeah. You too, you work with the kids sometimes and uh, you teach uh, uh, some stuff to, to children, no? Or I'm, yeah. I'm, am I wrong? No, no, it's wrong. Yeah, I have just a climb group. Okay. And I teach at school as, as much as what did it years ago. Now I stopped it. Uh, to, to have more time for climbing. But I know him too, he works with other people that yeah. have problems or uh, yeah. he, he does a kind of social... I don't want to see him, <laughs> otherwise he gets uh, nervous. <laughs> he has a kind of social job. And uh, in this job, is it, uh, is it normal for you to, to give something, to, to transfer to people something that, that you are as climbers? I think so, yeah. I even if you don't want, maybe, even if you don't realize it. Yeah, it's a kind of a hard question. What do you say, Mo? It's really hard question. Because you have maybe more experience in working with... You, you get a lot of energy out of climbing, and you can give a little bit to other people who have, I don't know, mental disorders, or, or also little children, or so, and you can give a lot, I think. And maybe the sport is quite... A kind of selfish thing, also, but uh, with, with this you can give a lot to people. Yes, I think climbing is uh, very, very individual, and uh, sometimes there is the risk to go very far from the human world, you know? Yeah. And uh, to keep this balance is uh, a little bit. Is it so easy for you, or uh, sometimes for you too, or? Is is it easy to, to keep a balance in between your climbing passion and live in a world where there are persons? <laughs> I, <laughs> Do you understand I, the I always like to come back to the social life, I would say, or for me. I mean, that's maybe the more important part of life for me. Well, bellissimo. <laughs> climbing yeah, is just one, one part and maybe for me that's more part. The entry should be the search. Uh, search for being the best climber, to be the search for the person in it, and just uh, to get to the border. That's interesting, and each of us has a different personal limit, or different philosophy, and that's the thing what we should do. And just think about what the head is full of, mm. and do this and have fun. Okay, this was a really, really good uh, <laughs> talk for me, and a good interview, and I forgot to make uh, I'm so happy when you climbed, uh, when I knew that you climbed on site to the Cattedrale in the, in the Marmolada. And yeah, we are happy that you made it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because it but was there. Work. And uh, I'm happy and congratulations. I know you're trying something else uh, on the south, uh, south face of Marmolada. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 we'll yeah. see. We'll yeah. see. If it's possible. And I really it's possible more. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> ah, let's <laughs> <allow me. laughs> You know, I'm always the optimistic one. And I'm more the realistic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it's, a, it's, a, it's a good supposition. Yeah. Sometimes maybe you, you, you pull me up uh, to try to just by second. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when it will be. Motofriable. <laughs> okay, I like Motofriable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Veto. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> was not that terrible. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs>